Let's look at how the golden shovel works. Nikki Grimes says, the idea of a golden shovel poem is to take a short poem in its entirety or a line from that poem called a striking line and create a new poem using the words from the original. Say you decide to use a single line and that's how we're gonna use it in class, just by using single lines. You would arrange that line word by word in the right margin. Look at Grimes' example below. In the right margin. Then you would write a new poem, each line ending in one of these words. In the example you just saw, in the right margin, that would mean the first line of the new poem would end with the word in. The second line would end with the word the, and so on. Look at it in action right there. She wrote a new poem shaded in black. I wake and shake off the morning as mom tiptoes in. Rise and shine, she whispers, always the same old song. Get up right now. I groan on cue, but she gives me no margin. This is a very challenging way to create a poem, especially in terms of coming up with something that makes sense. And I love it for that reason. In this form, the poet is bound by the words of the original poem, but the possibilities for creating something entirely new are exciting. I hope you enjoy reading these as much as I enjoyed writing them. Nikki Grimes. Let's see one more example of the golden shovel in action. Here's one that I wrote. It's based off the poem Eating Poetry by Mark Strand. This was one of the first, in fact, maybe the first poem we looked at this school year. So I picked out a striking line. It was actually the very first line of the poem. The line says, ink runs from the corners of my mouth. Now, when you pick out a striking line, there doesn't have to be any reason. It can be any line that just jumps out and grabs your attention. Maybe you think it's the most important line in the poem. Maybe you just like it and you don't even know why. Any line that strikes you works. This is the one I chose. Take that line, arrange the words vertically. Ink runs from the corners of my mouth. Each of those words will be the last word on its own line within a new poem I write. Here it is, squid ink. I teach in darkness, black as squid ink. Glimpses of ceiling fans feel like home runs. Take heart, knowing the moon waxes and wanes, we move from anime breakout to rusted link. Slog through molasses lag and trumpet the in vogue. Mine's broken as a smile clings to the corners of your mouth, all masked by that mollusked ink cloud. And of course, camera check, yields half-hearted flickers, oh my. But, whoops, I'm muted. Only silence spills from my mouth. To recap, these are the three steps to write your own golden shovel. Identify a key line or a striking line from a poem you've read. Step two, Arrange the words vertically. Each of these words will serve as the last word within a line of your brand new poem that you're writing. Then step three, write your own. You ready? Let's have some fun.